So the introduction was just Googling, you know, um, just years ago doing the research. Um, but there wasn't, there wasn't a clear direction or, or path to muscle tone in our area that I was aware of, at least at the time. Now I know it's all over the place, but, um, I wanted to, I wanted to have something, some blood that was an available outcross because what I started to see very heavy in the Midwest in our region was, you know, four times Rocco, five times Graham, and we need an outcross somewhere that's a solid bloodline that's been producing extreme bulls for years. So, you know, that, that's just the vision I had. That's where I went because as everybody knows, I started with XLs. Um, but I wanted to get back to a bullier bull. I wanted the more extreme look. Um, so I went after Bashar and, and we got Fuji. Right. Um, is Bashar someone you would consider to be, uh, somewhat as a mentor? Do you, you know, absolutely. reach out to him and get any advice? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, on a constant basis. Um, you know. Uh, whether Jeremiah still wants to refer to him as my dad or not. <laughs> um, Bashar and I have a great working relationship and a great friendship as well. Um, he, he and Trisha and my wife, Vicki and I, you know, we, uh, when we hit shows, we hit dinner, but more importantly was, you know, this foundation of trust and consistency um, because whether, whether people feel good, bad or indifferent about Bashar, you cannot look at 20 years of history and say he doesn't know what he's doing. Exactly. Um, you know, Bashar has created amazing dogs, whether, like you said, people want to give him credit for that or not. You know, he has created amazing dogs. And not only has he created amazing dogs, but he has also, you know, changed the scale as uh, far as like, you know, selling dogs, you know, oh, he absolutely. has sold dogs for five figures, six, seven figures and things like that. Not saying, you know, money is everything. That's not what, what everybody in it for, but you know, he has changed the scale of the game uh, in the American bully community. By, far, by um, far, we, we've, we've, we've come to a point, I think in the bully community that, you know, in, in I think it was 2014, maybe 2016, I can't recall, but you know, the, the, the standard was rewritten based on, I believe it was Mr. Bean or might've been Magoo at that time. But I mean, that's what the ABK standard was written on was a muscle tone dog and it hasn't changed. So for people to take a look at that and say, well, the blood, you know, is still here. It's still doing the damn thing because grand champion King Kong champion this champion that it's the productions are there and, and quite obviously are going to be you know a figure in this in this community for eons to come probably i mean you can't you can't knock the blood but it's not to say it's better than anybody else's it just produces consistent results